Hello friends, I am Anand. Today, me and Ankit are going to give you tips on time management during those two and a half or three hours of examination. So, we will be giving you two different approaches. One will be mine, one will be Ankit's. Everyone has different different uh, approach toward it. But my approach used to be, uh, I used to solve physics first, then chemistry, then biology because I for physics, you need very fresh mind and physics is comparatively little tougher than uh, your chemistry and biology. What I used to do was, I will uh, divide the time, if it is 3 hours, so I will give uh, 1 hour for physics, half an hour for chemistry, half an hour for biology. Uh, but it, now overall, overall you have 2 hours to finish your paper and 1 hour I used to keep as a spare time. But obviously you cannot, you are not a robot to finish exactly at 2 hours, so it makes it till 2 uh, 2 hour 15 minutes so still you have 45 minutes so in that 45 minutes uh, 15 minutes I used to keep for using a washroom or going for uh, drinking water or what happens ki, uh, during a while writing your paper uh, invigilator will come they will ask you some thumbprint signature photo vagera, vagera. so your 15 minutes can go waste so you have to keep 15 minutes for those and half an hour is there so in those half an hour I'll fill up the OMR sheet and my time now it's online so it's okay you can save save time on that but still you have to keep half an hour for revision uh, whatever questions you have left so you can go through uh, them once again management so but basically you have to do is key uh, if it is two and a half half an hour paper so you have to spare you have to finish the question paper still in two hour but try to keep half an hour extra for revision for in, in case uh, there is some uh, another emergency or you know anything one important thing while solving MCQ is uh, you have to you can use the technique uh, called elimination technique or the or the rule out technique what is called and in, in exams where there is no negative marking you can attempt all the question don't leave any question even if you don't know just blindly tick one important thing you have to remember is while solving your question paper you should not get distracted you should not be looking at fan and looking at speed you should not be wasting time uh, by looking out of window looking at tree crow anything or you know looking at the invigilator where he or she is or oh, that corner this corner what other people are wearing you have to focus 100% on that question paper you should not be that time thinking about your future mira kya hoga ye nahi ho ra, paper is very tough leave about that thing that thing you can discuss after finishing a paper that that time that three that three hours or two and a half hours you have to give your hundred percent concentration one thing you have to remember is all the question carries same marks either you solve the easier one or the hard one you get one marks only so it's better to solve the easier one first and try to if the question which you feel very complicated or you think there is a lot of um, uh, you know equation solving to be done you just mark it and when you come back and you do it this approach is for exams like All India PMT, NEET or any other exam which follows the pattern of 180 questions in 180 minutes that is 1 minute per question usually the weightage in these exams is 45 marks for physics 45 for chemistry and 45 plus 45 for botany and zoology that is 90 for biology what you can do is there are three subjects physics chemistry and biology which constitute 180 questions every person has one strong subject one weak subject and one medium medium subject right so you can uh, name them as one two and three it can be any for you like for me it was my strongest subject was biology then it was chemistry and my weakest was physics so similarly you can also assign one two and three number to your th three subjects okay so now you should start with your uh, you can start with your strongest subject so that once you start with it you will automatically get confidence as you will be able to do it very fast quickly and it will also be act as a boost for you as biology is a uh, easy subject either you know the questions or you don't know it because most will be factual so that should not take much of your time so you should be able to complete this these 90 questions in, an, in a, around one hour right next comes chemistry chemistry is a usual like a medium subject for everyone that's what i have noticed so far so you can give one minute per question that is 45 minutes for 45 questions and then comes physics physics tends to be a little difficult or a lengthy subject for most of the people so you can keep one hour that is 60 minutes for 45 questions that should be more than sufficient right so that means one hour plus one hour plus 45 minutes two hours 45 minutes for 180 questions and now 
you have 15 minutes still left but you should use these 15 minutes wisely you can easily do the questions which you left earlier in these 15 minutes or in some exams which are still offline you can use it to fill your omr sheet and also there tend to be distractions every time so like in these 15 minutes you can do the signing part drinking water going to the washroom in jipma there are around 200 questions and you have 150 minutes for it that means you have to solve one question in 45 seconds that that means you have to be really really fast like you can grade your subjects according to 1 2 and 3 that is first is the strongest subject second is the medium medium subject and third is the toughest subject usually for people it's biology uh, chemistry and physics but you can classify it according to your choice and you can assign the time accordingly to you so there was uh, you can start with your strongest subject so that once you start with it you will automatically get confidence as you will be able to do it very fast quickly and it will also be act as a boost for you so you should complete this course section like these 60 questions in 30 minutes and you can easily do so right because it's a stronger subject so that will act as a boost for you second the second subject which you are give, giving like suppose it can be chemistry so you should be finishing it in 40 minutes that means 30 and 40 once uh, like 120 questions done and only 70 minutes used now comes the toughest subject that is physics uh, for example physics so in this you can easily give 50 minutes for it 50 minutes 60 questions as compared to competitive standards it is okay okay right so now you will be able to finish all these three subjects in 50 plus 40 plus 30 that is 120 minutes 120 minutes 180 questions done now in 10 minutes you can easily complete english and gk which will not be a big deal for you because you're smart okay so now 130 minutes done and 200 questions done so you still have 20 minutes left so what do you do in these 20 minutes there surely must be some questions which you might be having doubt in or you might have left some questions that time suppose if you are finding it tough so don't waste your time unnecessarily in that question instead keep it for last so that you can easily give you more time and you can do it with more more concentration because in exam each and every question counts because that will determine your rank so for these 20 minutes you can keep these questions which you are not uh, you which you are having doubt in and now you can easily complete those 10 20 30 questions in those 20 minutes and these 20 minutes will act as a reserve for you because in the exam there are some distractions and if suppose there is a long question which there will be many usually but these questions are to confuse you so don't get scared but how will i do it but mark the key points every question has some key points and don't forget you should read it fully don't be scared about it so if you don't know it just mark the key points or you can also write the formula nearby so that when you come to it later on you don't forget the formula because it's a long exam two and a half hours right so you might you tend to forget things don't worry just write the formula down just mark the key points and come back to it later on so that you can easily do it but remember these were our suggestions it might be possible that you might have some different choices or some different views regarding it so you can use the important tips or you can leave it up to you i hope you found this video very helpful and you will do well in your exams and if you still have any suggestions for us that we should make some more useful videos for you you can comment in the comment section below because we know what the pain of going through those two years of 11th and 12th and though for those people who are taking drop is so all the best and if you still need our help just let us know bye take care